Bottom line is that L'Oreal is a drugstore brand and that we cannot expect much from it, but maybe this should go easy on the price. Hi guys, so in today's video I'm finally reviewing the L'Oreal Paris Revita Lift Filler 1.5% Hyaluronic Acid Anti-Wrinkle Serum. Now before I start with the review, I gotta say that while I was researching the ingredients, I figured out that there is a serum in the US market with a same name, similar packaging, but some crucial differences. So I guess the one that I'm reviewing is meant for the European market and the one in the clear bottle is for the US market. To avoid making a confusion, because I do have many uh, US viewers here, I will compare them for you guys just based on the ingredients, because I can't really get the one from the US market, obviously, but just so that you know what you're dealing with in case you get the one in the USA. Okay, so they have 13 matching ingredients, and the main active ingredients in both would be sodium salt of hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and ascorbyl glucoside. Now, hyaluronic acid and glycerin are the humectant that find water and they will hydrate your skin. So this is a hydrating serum, surprise, surprise. And ascorbyl glucoside is the form of vitamin C that has brightening properties and is also an antioxidant. And they also both have this peptide that is a very small molecule actually and can penetrate the skin nicely and easily. And this, this peptide belongs to the uh, Botox in the jar type of peptides, meaning that it has a smoothing effect on the skin and it can also reduce the wrinkles. So that's really nice. And if you do see some immediate results from using this uh, serum, it will probably be the effect of this uh, peptide. Now, the crucial difference is that the US version does not have have fragrance and European one is loaded with fragrance. But the good thing is that they both have two types of hyaluronic acid, the low molecular and the high molecular one. And by the way, it's always better to have a serum that has two types of hyaluronic acid, the low molecular and high molecular, because the low molecular hyaluronic acid can actually penetrate the skin and reduce the wrinkles, while the high molecular hyaluronic acid actually just sits on the outermost layer of the skin and just hydrates it, that it cannot penetrate deeper. So that is great news, but wait, there is more. They both have the highly controversial buffering agent, also known by the acronym HEPIS, if I'm pronouncing that right. This is the hydroxyethylpiperazine ethyl sulfonic acid. And uh, here's the tea behind this ingredient. It's a buffering ingredient that is used to establish a neutral pH in a water-based solutions. And there is one, I repeat, only one research indicating that it can generate free radical damage in the presence of oxygen which means that it could be a problem when used in skincare products. But is it really? Well, we cannot know until there is more research done. There are no studies that are actually showing the direct impact on the skin. So yeah, there's just no research showing that. So should we dump this serum just because of this ingredient? Well, it's hard to say. I wouldn't avoid it just because of this ingredient because, you know, there's not enough research. But let's just say that I would gladly choose other serums in this price range with better ingredients. Just saying no shade L'Oreal. But stay tuned, I will give you my final verdict on the serum by the end of this video. Anyways, let's see the effect of this European serum on the skin. So here is how I used it. I first washed my face, and by the way, I'm still using the Avan Cold Cream Scented Bar, and I also have a review on it, you can check it out if you want. But I am looking for a new cleanser to try out and maybe make a review on it, so let me know which one is your fave, maybe I can review that one. Anyways, after washing my face, I then spray my face with Avan Thermal Water, because I prefer that water to hydrate my face rather than the tap water if you know what I mean. But you can of course just leave your skin wet after washing your face and then put the serum on, but I was just feeling extra here because I have this event thermal water. But anyways, because this is a hydrating serum with humectants only, it is best to apply it on a wet face and immediately add an occlusive moisturizer on top to lock in that moisture. So anyways, after I applied the serum, I used the L'Oreal Hyaluron Specialist Night Cream because I recently did a review on this one as well and you can check it out right here 
here if you want and yeah I still have had some left so I used this one but I also love using this pantalon cream with 5% of Dex pantalon because that one as well has occlusives in there so that one is even better than this L'Oreal one but yeah you can use any occlusive moisturizer that you know works for you so anyways back to the serum feels nice when you apply it on the skin it's not bad it does the job but I did have one situation with it when I was using this serum by a van that has retinaldehyde in it I tried combining it with this serum and I tried using the serum every other day so one day I would use the L'Oreal serum and the other day I would use the Avan retinaldehyde serum and guess what the L'Oreal serum was burning my skin like crazy and I couldn't use it so I mentioned that in the Avan retinaldehyde serum review that I also did you can check it out right here and by the way when I stopped using retinaldehyde um everything was fine and I had no problems because usually I'm not sensitive to fragrance in products but if you are just know that this product is not for you now let me give you my final verdict on this L'Oreal serum. Is this the best hyaluronic acid serum that you can get in this price range? Unfortunately, no. You can get better options in this price range. It is what it is. Sorry, L'Oreal. Now, when it comes to European version and US version, well, I would say that definitely US version is a better option because it does not have fragrance. So you will be able to use it at the same time as some other ingredients that are increasing the sensitivity of your skin. For example, like retinoids, AHAs, BHAs, etc. Now, if you take this European version, you won't be able to combine it with such ingredients. And plus, if you're sensitive to fragrance on your own, then you won't be able to to use it so so definitely the US version is slightly better now regarding that controversial ingredient because there is no research showing the direct impact of that buffering agent on the skin we cannot judge this product just based on that ingredient but let's be real there are better options in the same price range and even cheaper than this that don't have this buffering agent so I don't know, I guess maybe I had high expectations from L'Oreal and you know, bottom line is that L'Oreal is a drugstore brand and that we cannot expect much from it, but maybe this should go easy on the price because there are better options in this price range and even cheaper than this. For example, there is the Ordinary Serum that has a higher concentration of hyaluronic acid, plus it's cheaper, retails for 10 bucks, and for this one I paid 18 bucks. And by the way, the Ordinary Serum does not have fragrance, so that one you will be able to combine with other ingredients that increase your skin sensitivity. And by the way, the review on the Ordinary Serum is coming as well, so just so you know, if you're interested, stay tuned. So yeah, the Ordinary Serum is cheaper, has a higher concentration of hyaluronic acid, does not have that controversial buffering agent, and it's fragrance-free, so. Bottom line is, if you do have access to other serums in your country, maybe avoid this one. That would be the bottom line. But regarding the effect on the skin, I cannot say anything bad. It is really moisturizing and uh, feels nice on the skin. But yeah, then again, if you're sensitive, it's going to burn. And if you're using retinoids at the same time or any ingredients that increase your skin's sensitivity, it's going to burn. Yeah, it's going to burn. Like I said already, it was burning when I was using it every other day with a retinaldehyde serum. So yeah. So yeah, bottom line is that if you do have access to other serums in your country, maybe avoid this one. I will put the links down below in case you want to check out the ordinary one. And yeah, review for that one is coming as well. Stay tuned. So yeah, that will be it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.